Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Jania with part three, the conclusion of my current series are called Dolman's Domes Discs and Blocks Spotted in Proctor. We're continuing with the analysis of this high-rise photograph called Change Detection in Proctor Crater, acquired on the 24th of February 2011 at 25.2 centimeters per pixel. Images I'm showing you are cropped from this JP2 black and white file. There's a look at the terrain and uh, these small little white specks littered throughout this region are the anomalies that we're checking out close up. Located in Proctor Crater, 47.04 degrees south. 30.67 degrees east and it's in that dark patch inside Proctor Crater. That's a huge dune field over there to the top right. Yeah, we're looking at that huge block over there measuring about 10 by 12 meters and the semi-circular object over here to the bottom right that's about 15 meters in diameter. Check at the straight sides, rounded corners, and then the usual suspects right there in the center, those protrusions over there. Very similar to the megalithic blocks found in ruins here on Earth. And then uh, that semi-circular object measuring about 15 meters in diameter. Looks like uh, this may have been part of a complete disc and uh, broke off through the center line there and then uh, we can see the rounded side here to the left of here we've got uh, sand covering that part of the disc look at this dark area we can definitely see a circular design to it and then there in its center we've got uh, a dome-like feature. So I've seen many of those. Yes, some other examples. Uh, this is from DISC and triangular objects found near Euripus Mons. You can find that in my video and blog post by that name. Another DISC of here from part one of this series, about 12 meters in diameter. And then uh, this is from huge wreck DISC discovered west of Planum Cronium. Another huge disc over there. Next we're looking at uh, arrangement of smaller parts on that huge slab over there. That measures about uh, 15 by 12 meters and up close we can see these smaller parts that have been arranged in a perfectly circular pattern around that center over there. Very, very strange. I've seen some of those in other areas on Mars. There's another example, and this is uh, from part one, Alignments and Strange Objects Found Near Euripus Mons. Also have the smaller parts arranged in a circular pattern. Then we're looking at uh, that item over there to the top right and that piece is about 15 meters across and about 10 meters wide and on top of it we've got uh, a really strange anomaly, this little triangle sticking out of the top and uh, that area there seems to be carved out in that rectangular shape and then a little dome-like object over there. I have no idea what to make of this. Look at that straight piece going off to the left. Looks like uh, part of this structured item. And then we've got another block over here with straight edges to it. Right angle there. And then a little triangle on that part. We've also seen many of those as well. We're looking at uh, this object over there. Looks like a fossilized shell. Not that it is guys and girls. 
But that item there is about 12 meters across. You see it's got a nice rounded arc on this side and then uh, these two sides that come up to that point. Very similar to this one from huge bright disc spotted on the plains of Acidalia. So I have a rounded design and then uh, these two sides coming up to a point. I wonder if these are some sort of structures or part of sculpted pieces, maybe even a uh, craft. And we're looking at uh, this object over there. Found another one like it in part one of the series and uh, that's about five meters across and about eight meters high. Check at the raised edge. Looks almost uh, like this is hollowed out. Very similar to that one. And it's also about the same size. Check out this item over here. A huge rectangular piece that measures about 12 by 10 meters. And the smaller object over here to the bottom left is about three meters across to get the almost like an arch shape to it one if this is uh, an opening here to the right and then it's got that strange uh, triangular part over there to the bottom left and then another circular object with something in its center there to the top right Looks like this part of the object has been bashed in. I don't know what that could be. Was that as uh, right angles to it? And it reminds me of that piece that I feature in Return to Pratinillus. Check it the straight sides, right angles, and then also off to the one side got a smaller object. Also looks like it has a curve to it, very similar to that arc on that one. The semicircular object of here measures about 20 to 25 meters across. It consists of these two parts. Check it the geometry of that arc over there, as well as this one over here. I wonder if these two pieces a part of a larger part and uh, they broke apart or whether these are two parts that were machined to fit together and then on top of it we've got a strange uh, design as well and another triangle consisting of uh, those three smaller protrusions or knobs down here we've got another triangle with those dark spots over there then a very weird narrow rectangular piece here to the left as well. The right angle. This looks almost uh, like a tube lying on top of this. Right, then we're looking at uh, that chevron shaped object over there measuring about uh, 13 meters long by about 10 meters wide. Got symmetry and geometry going on here again straight sides, 90 degree angles and uh, very similar to some others that I found on Mars. This is from Ancient Wreckage and Structures East of Ready on Mars Part 1. So they have this uh, chevron shaped object. Right, then we're looking at uh, more of these smaller parts in the centers of larger slabs or blocks. This one over here measures about 12 meters across and uh, the small circular part in the center is about 3 meters across. We're looking at that block over there that measures about uh, 10 by 8 meters. Again we've got uh, straight sides, 90 degree angle, rounded corners. 
And then this piece over here, I have no idea what to make of this. I wonder if it's a little outpost. That whole piece is about 15 meters across and about 10 meters wide. With these straight sides, 90 degree angle over there. And then this strange uh, half a dome-like part there in this opening. It there looks as if it's carved out. And if that could be an opening. And then uh, small little spheres lying on top of it as well. Get the triangular shape to that part there. All right, then we're looking at uh, those three objects. That disc is about 12 meters across. And uh, this strange triangular part is about 12 meters long. And uh, again, the disc-like object has a small protrusion in its center. And uh, then we're going to be checking out this geometry that I found in uh, some more pieces on Mars. We draw a center line through there. We've got two equal halves, straight edges as well. And there's another quarter disc-shaped object lying on top of that uh, rectangular block. A straight edge there, right angle. There's another one. This is from Wreckage, Ruins and Fish near Real Vallis on Mars Part 2. Very similar in uh, size and design to that one. And then something similar. This is from Structures and Debris in Dunefield, west of Hellespontus Montes on Mars. We're looking at uh, two square blocks over there, measuring about eight by eight meters. And on top of each, in their centers, we've got these protrusions or knobs. Right angles again, one if those two fit together. This block of yes from uh, this current episode and this was from part two of this series. This block of here, same size and design as uh, those two. So one if these were part of a larger structure which blew apart or moved apart with the uh, catastrophes that hit the surface of Mars. The object we're looking at next is located over there, middle top, and uh, that piece is about 13 meters across, and it's got uh, a rounded side to it. Looks like uh, that arc is repeated over there in that bottom part, and then uh, it's like it's hollowed out, like this V slot cut into that side. Very strange. Now we're looking at a small cube placed near the center of that larger piece. And uh, the little square cube measures about 4 by 3 meters. With the parallel lines on it. And uh, right angles. Seen another one like that. This is from part 1 of the series another little cube placed near the center of that larger pot. Also same size and uh, shape. Now we're looking at a sphere placed in the center of that larger pot and uh, the sphere measures about three and a half meters across. You can see it's got like a ball shape to it, definitely rounded and then placed geometrically here to the left, we've got uh, two smaller ones. And then uh, perpendicular to this, we've got uh, two little dark spots over there. So we've got another geometric pattern going on there. Here we're looking at another disc-shaped object, the smaller part in its center. And uh, that whole piece is about 
13 meters across. This piece of here also looks highly unnatural. It's about uh, 13 meters long and about uh, 7 meters wide. It's got a nice round design to it. And then uh, off here, just to the center, we've got another smaller part. Definitely elevated off the surface here to the right. And uh, it looks like the sand has been pushed up here to the bottom right. Wonder if this has been uh, hollowed out and the sand pushed up here to the one side. Almost like a dolmen. Now we're looking at uh, more geometry. This whole piece here is about uh, 13 meters long and we've got four smaller parts arranged in a square on top of it. Look at the spacing between them as well. More geometry of here in this piece from part two of this current series. But three dark spots arranged in a triangle on top of that larger piece. And uh, we definitely got something going on here, guys and girls. How can this uh, be coincidence? Multiple pieces in this uh, block, which measures about 8 by 8 meters. We can see 1, 2, 3 triangles. One if this is a bevel, it's been cut into that block. Or if we got three triangular pieces that are tightly packed together to form that uh, square block. Again we've got geometry and symmetry going on here again. 90 degree angle over there. Here's what appears to be another megalithic block measuring about 3 by 6 meters. You can see 90 degree angle there and three of the very smooth flat sides. Now we're looking at other blocks I feature in part one of the series also from the same JP2 photograph. So more common design elements going on there. Yeah, we're looking at a rather strange piece. Don't know what to make of this either. It's about uh, 10 by 20 meters in size. Got a rounded side, rectangular shape of here yeah, to the top. And uh, to the left, this looks like a carved out area, like a ramp. Don't know what the heck that could be. And then uh, a little ball or sphere over there, that measures about uh, a meter and a half across. Yeah, we're looking at three other weird objects that are found in this JP2 and also featured in this current series. And if these are sculpted pieces. So let's go ahead and have a look at the similarities of the anomalies, specifically in part three of here the positioning of uh, the smaller objects close to the centers of the larger ones looks highly unnatural. The geometric patterns that are on display, the sculpted piece over there that looks almost like an eye and uh, this over here also looks like a sculpted piece there. Some art maybe this is from part two of the series. Again, the positioning of the smaller parts, protrusions or knobs on the larger pieces is very, very unnatural. Look at this. That looks almost uh, like some type of little structure. Got what looked like two disc-like objects on that one pointing in the same direction. And these are from part one of my series. Again, we're looking at uh, smaller parts placed near the centers of the larger base structures. Here we've got two triangular parts on those. 
So, are we looking at pure coincidence here, natural geology, or are we looking at intelligent design? I think uh, I've proven beyond any reasonable doubt that there's a definite phenomenon going on here, and I speculate it's not natural, guys and girls. So, let's debate this. Let me know in the comments below your opinion, your analysis, and thoughts about what we see here and uh, if you've been following my work and my research you'll know that uh, this type of uh, feature is commonplace on Mars. That's it for part three folks, thank you for watching, much appreciated to everyone who supports my work, thank you, huge thumbs up to you and everyone who recently subscribed to the channel Welcome on board. I hope you enjoy my work in research. Guys and girls, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.